In early 2021, it was a hot summer's day in Fremantle, Western Australia, and I was watching my two-year-old daughter play on the floor with her six-month-old baby brother. And uh, I looked up at my nurturing wife and I said, Hun, I, uh, <coughs> you know, I, I think we should move to Kazakhstan. <laughs> well, we've been living in Almaty for, for three years now, and so I figure that if I can convince my wife and for this audience of intrepid explorers hungry for the next tier one copper discovery, this should be a no-brainer. So here we go. Kazakhstan is like Western Australia, but in the 1970s. The size of the two jurisdictions is almost exactly the same. The mineral code in Kazakhstan was modelled on Western Australia's, and both have an economy built off the back of natural resource production. And it's exactly that, that that gives the population a real appreciation of how our industry can help to build communities, which is evidence when you spend time in those communities with the local landholders and the local mayors. In Sheminayaka, for example, I had a really proud tour of, uh, of their local museum, which is almost entirely focused on, on the history of mining, dating back to 1749. It's 144 years before gold was discovered in Kalgoorlie. It takes one third of the amount of time to transport goods from China to Europe through Kazakhstan than it does by sea, which makes it the beating heart of the One Belt, One Road initiative. From a geological perspective, those roads go directly past the supergiant deposits of Jezkazgan and the Actagai Porphyry Cluster, which is in the lowest quartile of production costs globally. It is extremely difficult to find such an array of not just commercial, but giant and supergiant deposit types in, in any one jurisdiction, especially one which has the political will and the framework to match. So my wife said yes, and we got stuck in. We moved to Almaty uh, in August of 2021, uh, which was during the start of our first drill campaign. At first, understanding the systems and the culture took time, um, and it definitely took the right team. We now have staff in Actal, Almaty, Astana, and Semi, literally the four corners of the country. And we've operated from Heliborn EM to drone mag, RC, and diamond drilling over a similar reach. Taking the time to build a team of people that had a similar ethos and drive to me has paid off in spades. It's allowed us to develop a culture that um, ensures we can easily navigate what can be an often complex and evolving system. So fast forward to the start of 2024, we were operating well. You know, we had good projects, we had a good team, we had a great culture, but it still felt like we were missing something. We needed to figure out how to differentiate ourselves further. We needed to figure out how to win. Enter BHP Explore. Our how to win now entails a comprehensive, diversified, copper-focused exploration strategy, incorporating both brownfields resources and greenfields tier one deposit potential. The first is infrastructure-led VMS exploration in the Rudney Altai Belt, where in March this year, we announced our maiden jort resource of 20 million tonnes at about 1.2% copper which was about $4 per tonne in discovery cost. We're doing the detailed mapping and lithogeochemical work to further a lot more targets in that region, and we're really excited to be drilling a number of those later on this year. The second part of the strategy is for porphyry exploration in a belt that's expected to contain an undiscovered 22 million tonnes of copper. We've been using BHP's mineral systems framework and we've conducted uh, plate tectonic and kinematic reconstructions and done satellite uh, spectral imagery to prioritise targets over an area that's more than 200,000 square kilometres. We're waiting on the results of soil sampling on our first two licences and we really hope to be applying for a number of other licences in the not too distant future. The third part of the strategy is for sediment-hosted exploration in one of the world's largest fertile basins, where the opportunity to literally peg the entire basin still very much exists, at least for the time being. 
But ESTAR is not just participating in Kazakhstan's exploration revolution. We're actually helping shape it. We were the very first member of the Kazakhstan Chamber of Mines, and I'm still a member of the advisory board today. Since inception 12 months ago, the Chamber's attracted 43 local and international members, and we've been invited to consult on tax policy and subsoil law directly with the relevant ministries. ESTAR's hard-won local knowledge and experience gives us a genuine operating advantage, allowing us to take investors' money and spend it wisely, efficiently, in the ground. Try to explore. We were a small company with a great culture and achievable goals. Our aspirations have grown significantly, but with our VMS experience and with a new toolkit, thanks to Explore, we can now expand. Bigger team, bigger targets for a bigger and better outcome for all stakeholders. So, this is my invitation to you. If you are a potential partner or investor, now is the time. Now is the time to come and join us in Kazakhstan. Now is the time to come and join us on our journey. Because once in a lifetime opportunities don't stay that way for very long. Thank you very much. <laughs>